What's up, guys? So it's said that Seth Rollins will be back from his injury right before WrestleMania. And it looks like they're going to keep him on TV because he was on TV this week. So uh, it looks like they're going to keep him around. He just ain't going to be able to wrestle until right around WrestleMania. Uh, he was going to defend his title against CM Punk. CM Punk more than likely was going to win the Elimination Chamber to feud with Seth Rollins. But now they kind of have to change that due to Seth Rollins and CM Punk are injured. But like I said, Seth's supposed to be back before WrestleMania. So, they're kind of building a twist. Like, Cody might actually pick Seth. That's not probably going to happen. He's going to pick Roman. That's the only fucking thing that makes sense. So, if I was to guess who is going to face Seth Rollins at uh, WrestleMania, it's more than likely going to be Drew McIntyre. That makes sense. Drew McIntyre's uh, the one that injured uh, CM Punk. By story-wise, he might actually have did it in the Rumble, too. He might have accidentally uh, caused Punk Punk's injury in uh, the Royal Rumble. So, and Punk said he's the first person he's going to come after when he comes back is Drew McIntyre. So, Drew McIntyre having the belt when CM Punk comes back makes more sense. So, I would think it's going to be Drew McIntyre and Seth Rollins at WrestleMania. That's what makes sense right now. But who do you guys want to see Seth Rollins face at WrestleMania? Because there's people I'd rather have. Like Sami Zayn, Jey Uso, uh, R-Truth. I think that'd be fucking funny. Uh, we'll just have to wait and see how it all plays out. Could we see Mr. Money in the Bank cash in at WrestleMania? It's all got to play out eventually, right?